didn't want to be a ghost, but you pushed me. What up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. How are y'all doing? Um, we're going to film some more hair content because your girl been shopping. I don't know if that haul is already up or if it will go up after this video. I'll be making plans. They be laughing at me. So you see it when you see it. But um, I picked up some new products. I needed to do my hair. I wanted to try something new. So that's what we're going to do today. I have the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops Leave-In and the Miracle Drops Styler Gel. Now, if you're not familiar with Kaleidoscope, they are a black owned brand. This brand is not new. Um, they are most known for their Miracle Drops, um, which is basically supposed to be like a scalp stimulating serum oil concentrated situation. Um, I've never used it, used it. My dad used to use it on his beard and he loved it for that purpose. Um, so I saw these and I was like, these sound pretty interesting. So I figured we would just do a quick little first impression styling video and see how it goes. So if you're interested in seeing how these fare for a wash and go, just keep on watching. So let's go ahead and, to, and get into the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. This is formulated with coconut milk and rice water and infused with their miracle drops. It's supposed to tangle and help support strong, healthy hair. And it comes in an eight fluid ounce spray bottle. More of that like creamy leave-in situation. So, ooh, it smells nice. It's more of a perfumey scent, not necessarily fruity. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this on each half. I'm doing my hair down the middle today just because um, I felt like, I feel like I need to. I already don't like, I just don't like having to, you see what I'm saying? It's hard with wet hands. If you have like that little, I'm literally sitting it on my titties. So I'm gonna spray it into my hand. <laughs> it does have a good spray though. Like it's not that little, it like it sprays. thoughts on our miracle drops leave-in um it just feels okay like it does enough for you to feel comfortable moving your fingers through your hair um but it's not it doesn't really have slip like I would not consider this a slippery product um now it does say that it's a lightweight moisture rich leave-in detangling conditioner that refreshes all hair textures and hair extensions for up to 72 hours. And then it says that you can use it as needed to help increase healthier looking hair and help support a healthy growth environment. One, I feel like this would be great to use as a refresher um, because it does add really nice shine. And I feel like there's just something about this texture that I really like in a leave-in conditioner, but I do have leave-in conditioners of this type of this type of formulation that do more, if that makes sense. So before y'all go, it's nice. I have plenty of products that I would say are comparable to this that do more. Um, I may feel differently about how the moisture and things last in my hair, but right now it just feels okay. Like my hair is shiny. 
Um, it's soft, but I also started with a really good foundation. I clarified and then I also deep conditioned. Um, won't tell you what I deep conditioned with because I have a video coming on that as well. Um, so if it's already up, I'll link it. If it's not, just stay tuned. Um, so far, it's cool. It feels light. It doesn't feel dense. It doesn't feel um, like it's going to cause any buildup or anything like that. So now we have the Miracle Drops Styler Gel. This is a strong whole conditioning hair gel with coconut milk and aloe vera. Um, and it's again infused Miracle Drops. It's supposed to hold and help support strong healthy hair. Comes in a 12 ounce jar, not bad at all. And it was the texture on this product that got me. I mean it does smell good but the texture like sold me. This smells like something I own. It kind of has like a um, citrusy scent to it, like a citrusy coconut water scent. Um, and it does say just to apply to damp or dry hair from roots to ends, do not rinse and create desired style. So this isn't specifically marketed as like a gel for like slick backs or things like that. Basically it's saying do whatever you want with it. So we don't, we don't do what it do. All right, I'm just gonna take what's in the lid. I really like the texture of this gel. Very smooth, very, very smooth. So this is not as heavy as one may think it would feel on the hair. Um, like you can see, it's not dragging my curls down. It's not causing them to kind of stretch out. I know that's what some people look for in their gels. I prefer, um, I don't care if it's a strong hold, but I need it to be flexible. Flexibility is going to matter way more for me in the days after and how the style lasts. If it's just a strong hold that's not flexible, it's not going to stay in my hair. That's not how those gels are formulated to work. <laughs> so. I prefer something that is flexible so that it will move with me throughout the week. I can manipulate it how I need to. I can shake and go, all of that good stuff. Strong hold means nothing if it's not flexible. Okay, I really like that. It's the last of what's in the lid. So this is my right side done. Um, 
y'all. I really like this. I really like this. I was not expecting it to feel like that at all. Um, so I was expecting it to be more of one of those where as soon as I applied it, like it really kind of made my hair stretch. This stuff is really like, it has the curls curling, okay? I went a little too hard with my brush. <laughs> my front pieces always hang lower. So when I do a style that's, you know, this way, I always go in with my brush a little bit just to help that out. It feels so buttery smooth going through the hair. Like it's so satisfying to use. Um, it doesn't feel like a stronghold gel though. Like it really doesn't. Um, it says it's a stronghold, but it also says it's a conditioning hair gel. And I will say like my hair feels, it just feels like really moisturized. Like it feels like it took a really, a really good drink of water, you know? Um, so I question whether this will be like stronghold for a lot of people. Um, but it does feel like it will be flexible, which I prefer. If it's a strong and flexible hold, that'll be a new staple in my routine because I love when I have one product that can do it all for me. So we'll see. Okay y'all, so I am done with the styling and so far, so good. Um, this little piece is being a bitch. I figured it would, but <laughs> that is okay. So initial thoughts, one, these products do work very well together. I don't have any like pilling, anything like that between my fingers, nothing crusty, dusty or gross over here. So I'm happy about that. So they do mix well, um, just for anyone who was wondering. I don't necessarily feel like you absolutely need the leave-in though. Um, I feel like it's really nice if your hair is in need of some strength and you want your hair to have like a silky feeling, but not necessarily like that really like unctuous emollient feeling to the hair. It's not gonna give you that. I think it has its purpose and I also think that it will be very, very nice um, when I go to refresh my hair in the days after. Um, but I do like it as a base. Um, the only thing is that, like I said, the leave-in doesn't really have any slip. The gel is where all the slip is. This gel has so much slip, it glides through the hair, buttery smooth. That's how much I used, not a lot at all. It looks thicker then it applies to the hair. The application is kind of similar to that of the African Pride um, aloe vera formula, kind of similar to that, although these aren't necessarily similar in texture. Y'all know that African Pride one, like it moves in the jar. This one, not really, she's a little deceptive. Um, I love the way that this applies. It goes in so smooth, it adds really nice shine, 
and it really does enhance the curls. I feel like you can get away with using this for a lot of different styles, not just wash and goes. I'm a little wary on the Stronghold claim. It's definitely flexible, which to me is the most important thing, so that's all I care about. But for my people that are looking for more of a medium, a medium hold, I'm feeling like this might be more so for the medium hold galleys, not the Stronghold galleys, you know? So we shall see. I'm going to go sit down. I'm going to let my hair dry. I'm going to air dry and then whatever doesn't um, get dry, I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. And then we will come back tomorrow. I'm going to go and we will come back tomorrow and we will talk final results. All right, y'all. So here's day one. I'm not doing too hot. My period came and like ruined my life. So... <laughs> This is just my hair fresh out of the bonnet. Um, no fluffing. Well, minimal fluffing. I just ran my hands through it, basically. But I didn't do anything else. So you can see, like, I have a lot of shrinkage, but there's a ton of shine. And the definition is really nice. But it's super duper soft. Like, super duper soft. So then I went and got back in bed. And this is day two. So I was feeling still crappy, but trying to move around a little bit. I did get up and kind of just go ahead and pick my hair out simply because I didn't want my hair to start matting while I was just laying in bed. Um, so I went ahead, picked my hair out, and that's what she's giving. She's still not stretched, um, but she's super duper soft. Like y'all can see, my hair is very soft, but the definition is going crazy. Um, I don't have any issues up to this point. Like my hair was really soft. It was really silky moisturized all that good stuff the only thing that I did notice was that I don't know if you can tell even in like the back sections of my hair not just the front parts where I use the brush you can tell like my ends are very very spiraled um and really latching on to each other so that's something that I'm gonna have to fix in the next day because that can cause some issues for me All right, and then we're on to day three. So when I went to bed that night, I decided to go ahead and separate the curls. I added a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner to each section, and then I just banded it. You can kind of see in that one piece that the bands kind of, you can kind of see the shape of the bands that I put in my hair, but it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's settled as like, maybe like 15 minutes later after this clip. So it didn't stay like that, but I like this. It's lightly stretched. It's not doing too much. Once everything kind of settles, it just looks normal, but I definitely needed to go ahead and stretch and pull the curls apart a little bit. So there we go. Okay, babes. So it's day four and this is what we're working with. So for context of what I did with my hair today, because this is going to be the last day that I have these products in my hair. Um, usually when I see that I've kind of lost a lot of the definition and things like that, I make one of two choices. I either put it up in some type of other style or I say fuck it and run with it. Today I said fuck it and I ran with it. So I just took my blow dryer um, and stretched it a little bit and just picked it out and <clears throat> kept it banded while I was doing my makeup. So these are the results. Um, I have been sleeping with my hair in the scrunchies um, just because I knew that it was going to keep my curls as separated as possible. I had some pieces that were kind of trying to like get a little too close together and some of that had to do with using the brush to style which, you know, is fine. I know there are certain things I may run into when I use certain tools. That is one of those things. So overall, I love my hair like this. Is there like a lack of definition? Yes. Do I care? No. I think, you know, it's 2024. I need y'all to get off of people's, you know, what's when it comes to how they decide to wear their hair and definition and things like that. Y'all are so fucking curl obsessed. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm just like, I love definition. Like, I love a defined curl. 
I love to see the best out of my curl pattern, but I also love to wear my hair undefined. I love to wear my hair in ways that people deem to be messy. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Y'all need to start not giving a fuck. That respectability shit is not going to win you any favors, babes, okay? <laughs> wear your hair how you want. And if it if it looks a little messy, who cares? What are they gonna do? They're not taking care of your hair every day, babe. Just saying. So let's go ahead and get into this Miracle Drops leave-in, moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Um, I really, really like this. I feel like it was okay um, upon initial application on wet hair. I really like this as a refresher though. Like I really enjoy just putting a few sprays into my hand, just running it over my curls at night just to kind of add a little bit of additional hydration. Not that my hair was dry, but if I'm going to leave it in a stretch state overnight, I like to give it just a little bit of oomph so it's a little bit more pliable. I don't necessarily like to overly stretch dry hair, if that makes sense. Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops Leave-In is infused with Miracle Drops and the perfect blend of ingredients to help support strong, healthy hair. Again, it says strong, healthy hair. The Miracle Drops Leave-In is a lightweight, moisture-rich leave-in detangling conditioner that refreshes all hair textures and hair extensions for up to 72 hours. My hair is still moisturized. Like, it's very, very soft. And yes, I have frizz that I obviously created, but my hair is not dry by any means. My hair feels really, really good. Use as needed to help increase healthier looking hair. I mean, I, I don't even know what that's really supposed to mean, but okay. <laughs> and help support a healthy growth environment. Okay, it's claiming to help strengthen the hair, but that's about it, right? Like this this product is not going to make your hair grow. Even though I, I know what the Miracle Drops claims are, this product is not going to make your hair grow. And the Miracle Drops are not going to make your hair grow. It just is what it is. <laughs> um, and again, shake well, apply to damp hair, to damp or dry hair comb through from ends to root style as desired now um one thing about this and like i was talking about how this didn't feel as like soft and plush going into my hair as other leave-in conditioners that i have that are of similar texture and formula let's look at these ingredients because reading the ingredients it makes a lot of sense the first five are water glycerin cdr 20 acetyl alcohol and sterile alcohol there's shea butter directly after that, but I also want to point out that, oh, there is a cone in here, just so you guys know, amodimethicone, y'all know I don't care about that. But right after the, amo the amodimethicone is citric acid. Um, and that, along with the rice water that is in here, is likely what was giving me that kind of like tight strengthening feeling. So ingredients like citric acid, um, fruit extracts, things of that nature, things that have um, a heavy concentration of vitamin C are going to cause the hair strain to kind of con constrict. And it's going to mimic that feeling of kind of almost like a protein treatment, depending on how heavily it's been used, right? Um, and that is kind of what this gives. If you are somebody who has super duper soft hair and you find yourself feeling like you need to feel like you have some reinforced strength when it comes to styling your hair, I think that this is great. Because of that though, because of the way that it can react with a hair strand, it can kind of make you feel like the product doesn't have a lot of slip. Um, it can kind of make your hair feel a little tight. So that's purely a preference thing and how ingredients like that play with the hair. Um, even though it wasn't my favorite application, I feel like being paired with this type of gel, it makes perfect sense. Because if this leave-in conditioner were different, I don't think I would have gotten more than a day out of the style. I'm just saying, balance. I seek balance in my products because I have a hair type that can be um, easily over softened, that can be easily weighed down, um, and a, a hair type that can easily obtain product buildup. And a lot of y'all just assume that just because somebody has curls that they don't have issues with products. And that's why we evaluate products based on our needs, not simply because we have curls in our head. It, it's just that simple, right? So I feel like because of how this product responds in my hair, I think in a lot of ways it extended the style for me 
because my hair does feel strengthened, it doesn't feel too soft. But anyway, this kind of prevents that situation from happening. So I feel like there are some cons to it, um, but I also do like it for what it does. If I had to give it like out of a five star rating, I would give this a three stars. It's a solid product. I think this is really, really great if you are struggling with damaged hair of any type. I think that this is going to help you in terms of just reinforcing that strength. But if you are somebody who um, is very sensitive to ingredients like citric acid or fruit extracts, um, if you are sensitive to proteins, if you're sensitive to um, any type of rice protein or rice water, I don't think that this will be for you. So kind of keep that in mind in terms of how this kind of plays with the hair. I think that this will do a lot of good for a lot of people, but if you don't fit in that category of need, I think that this actually may be a little bit annoying to you outside of using it as like a refreshing product. Um, I actually prefer using this as a refresher over using it as a leave-in, but if I use that gel, I'm going to put this in my hair, just straight up. Then we have the Miracle Drops Styler Gel Stronghold Conditioning Hair Gel with Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera. Again, infused with Miracle Drops, holds and helps support strong, healthy hair. Honestly, guys, I think I love this product for all the reasons that most of you are going to hate it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I have some critical thoughts about this, even though I do really like it. Um, Kaleidoscope Miracle Drop Styler Gel is infused with coconut milk, aloe vera, and Miracle Drops to help support strong, healthy hair. Sorry, my voice is changing. Allergies. <clears throat> the struggle is real. This Miracle Drop Styler Gel is a non-flaking, alcohol-free formula that protects against breakage and damage during styling, provides definition and strong hold for frizz-free hair with a glossy shine. Provides definition and strong hold for frizz-free hair with a glossy shine. We shall come back to that. <laughs> um, the first five ingredients in this product are water, aloe vera leaf juice, polysorbate 20, PVP, glycerin and then there's castor seed oil coconut oil and cyclopentacillosane um like right in the middle like right after that and then there is some like tea tree peppermint all that stuff you can't really smell it though like this product just smells like like a little citrusy herbally i really like the smell of it the smell does linger though so if you don't like the smell of it you are probably going to be annoyed by this because the smell lingers in your hair well after it has dried and in the days after all right, so let's talk about this. Let's go back over those claims one more time. Provides definition, yes. And stronghold, absolutely not. Not even close. Uh, calling this gel a stronghold gel is insane. Like, <laughs> like I have it on the front pieces of my hair right now. Ju just to see, I wanted to give it another chance. And I, I brushed it down. Does that look? <laughs> I told you guys in the demos that this gel performed way different from how I thought it would in the hair. Given the texture of the product, I just thought that it was going to be like much thicker. Like you see, it looks thick, but the actual application on the hair it's kind of reminiscent of, let me get it. The application of this reminds me a lot of this, the African Pride Curl Defining Gel from the Moisture Miracle line. I love this gel, been using it forever. I mean, you know, I love this stuff. Um, the texture and the way that this goes onto the hair and kind of melts into the hair, it reminds me of that, but they just, they play so differently. <laughs> so much differently than what I thought they would in my hair. This goes on so buttery smooth and it feels like a drink of water on your strands, okay? Now, you guys saw in the demos and in the days after, the shine is absolutely there. The definition is absolutely there. I mean, given that I stretched the living life out of my hair, yeah, like it's maintaining that definition. Um, 
on the top sides of my hair, like on these pieces, I don't really feel the gel in my hair anymore, but it definitely has stuck around like in those back pieces, those pieces that don't get manipulated as often. So it does leave behind a cast and it does kind of stick around. This is definitely a flexible formula, but it's very softening. Like this makes my hair feel super duper soft. And like I said, I feel like if I wasn't using that specific leave-in, I think this might've actually made my hair too soft. I'll have to continue to play with it and try it with other things to kind of further evaluate how I feel about it as far as that aspect goes. Um, but this right here, it's just, it's marketed totally wrong. <laughs> like it really is. It's marketed totally wrong. Um, I think that this is also going to be another really great product for people who are struggling with any type of damage, you know? Um, I think that the leave-in goes in and does a really great job of fortifying the hair. This goes back in and gives you the slip that you need to perfectly style however you feel. It's going to give you that slip you need for a wash and go. This actually is pliable enough that I feel like I can see people who love to do twist outs getting really successful twist outs with this. I personally don't like doing twist outs with gel because my hair just never dries and if it does manage to dry I kind of look like Rufus from Kim Possible. <laughs> hey it, it just is what it is okay. So all the things that this is marketed as it's supposed to be the stronghold styling gel that's also supposed to give you all of these moisturizing properties i just don't think those thing those two things really fit you know it this is very moisturizing it's very hydrating it makes your hair feel so supple like super smooth it's great but it's just not what this is marketed as if you are going into looking for this product, expecting something that is a stronghold gel, don't. Don't. If you like something that is very flexible, that's going to give you a lot of softness, a lot of shine, this still wears very well throughout the days. And I was laying on my hair, y'all. Like I have been in period purgatory. My uterus has been beating the shit out of me, okay? <laughs> Um, so I haven't been necessarily kind to my hair in the last few days. This has done very, very well for me. I still need to test it out in the really hot elements. I am going to go out this evening, um, cause I'm treating myself to some good ass food cause I haven't really been able to eat much the last few days. Um, so I will see like how my hair feels and everything, but I love this gel for all the reasons that so many of you will hate it because I feel like this is so mismarketed and it's not what I was expecting it to be because based on the claims alone, I would have to give it a two. My personal love for it though was like a five, but if I'm going to give this a fair rating, like I, I would have to give it a two because they say that this is a stronghold for its free gel and it's not, it's not. I would put this in the same lane as, like I said, the African Pride, um, the Curl Days Glossy Shine Gel. It's kind of in that league. Like I would put all three of those in the same category. This is going to be more of that medium flexible hold. It's not a strong hold by any means. I wouldn't use this to slick my hair back. I just don't think it, it, it doesn't do it like that. It just doesn't. <laughs> but I still really enjoyed it though. This was a really great wash and go. Um, I really enjoyed using both of these products. This is my first go around with Kaleidoscope. I really like these. Overall, this was a good wash and go session. Just nothing like what I thought that it was going to be. So yeah, y'all let me know. Have you guys tried these products and how did you feel about them? I was very much surprised by um, my overall experience with them. And I'm not disappointed, but I do have to rate these fairly, you know? <laughs> Um, if you say something is going to do something, I don't want it to do the thing that you say it's going to do. Um, so yeah, Kaleidoscope kind of has my attention now. I, I really like these. I'm going to keep using them, like I said, and continue to evaluate them. If I love them, you guys will see them in favorites. You will see them in empties. I will bring them back up because that is what I do over here. I talk about the things that I love and enjoy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took me a minute to get this out since I've just been struggling. 
but hey we in here it's cool um next video is going to be a natural hair product haul so you know go ahead prepare your snacks and all that stuff because it's going to be a long one i love you guys again if you use the kaleidoscope products let me know down in the comments what you thought about them and how they work for your hair i will see y'all in the next video